Hello everyone. So in the previous videos, we learned about SAP, ERP, ABAP. We learned about how to log in into SAP. Now we will jump onto ABAP. Now we will start learning ABAP, the programming language of SAP. Now, whenever we want to learn ABAP, we should understand the meaning of two terms first because throughout our this whole curriculum of ABAP, we will listen these two terms. The first one is ABAP workbench and the second one is transaction code. Now, what is ABAP workbench? And then we will cover what is transaction code. What is a BAP workbench? It is a collection of a BAP tools. Suppose I will go for an example. Suppose if I want to create a table in SAP, SAP gave a dedicated tool. Suppose if I want to create a program in SAP, SAP gave a dedicated tool. Suppose if I want to create a function module, SAP gave a dedicated tool. Suppose if I want to create a class, SAP gave a dedicated tool. Suppose if I want to create a table, I can create with the help of SC11. So SC11 is a tool for a BAP dictionary. With the help of this tool, I can create a table. Suppose if I want to create a program, I can create with the help of SC38. Suppose if I want to create a function module, I can create with the help of SC37. If I want to create a class, I can create a class with the help of SC24. So the, these all are the tools available in SAP. We have lots of tools available. As of now, I mentioned only few, lots of tools available. Whenever I'm combining all those tools, the one term is called as a BAP workbench. So a BAP workbench is a collection of a BAP tools. Now, the next question comes, what is transaction code then. Transaction code is a shortcut to access those tools. It means SC38 is a transaction code for what program? SC11 is a transaction code for a BAP dictionary. SC37 is a transaction code for function module. SC24 is a transaction code for class. So transaction code is a shortcut to access a BAP workbench tools. How I can access all those tools with the help of these shortcut, or I can say it as a transaction code. So a BAP workbench, is a collection of ABAP tools. What are those tools? We have a tool for a program. We have a tool for ABAP dictionary. We have a tool for function module. We have a tool for class. We have so many tools available. How I can access those tools? With the help of transaction code. So transaction code is a shortcut to access those tools. Now we will go for the system and we will understand this transaction code. So in the previous lecture, we learned up to this particular screen. It is a SAP easy access screen. Now where to pass the transaction code? Here, I am passing S. E11. I am pressing enter. So this is the transaction code or this is the screen 
by or for this is a screen or this is a tool for a bab dictionary by which you will create so many things table views we have lots of things available which we will learn one by one in the future so sc11 is a transaction code for a bab dictionary suppose i want to go for sc38 so i will go for sc38 it is a tool to develop the program a bab editor with the help of this tool you can create programs suppose i will go for back button and i am passing the transaction code sc37 it is a tool for function builder and i can create function modules with the help of this particular transaction code suppose if i will go for sc24 it is a transaction code for class builder by which i can create the classes so these all whenever i am combining these tools the one term is a bab workbench and where i can pass the transaction code here i can pass the transaction code now we will learn or we will elaborate the things more suppose i am going for sc11 transaction code now right now i have one particular session opened that is of se11 if you see i have one session opened for se11 suppose you want to work parallelly in two transaction codes suppose sc38 and sc11 you want to work parallelly because you want to check something in both that transaction codes so how i can open a new session and this particular session also remain open so what i will do i will put slash o so slash o will open the will open sc38 in a new session means this session will remain as it is and sc38 will open in a new session or new window suppose i am pressing enter now you can see this is sc38 and this is sc11 so i have two sessions as of now suppose i want to work parallelly in sc37 also so what i will do i will simply put slash o se37 so sc37 will open in a new session so as of now i have three session opened one is of sc11 one is of sc38 and one is of sc37 so if you want to open a session into a new window always put slash o and then you have to put a transaction code now suppose i am saying this sc37 is not required i want to open sc24 so i can override this existing session how i can override this particular session i will put slash n i will put se24 so if you want to override an existing session and you want to it means this particular session will be overridden by sc24 means sc24 will not open in a new session it will open by overriding this particular session suppose if i will put sc24 here now you can see there is no sc37 because sc37 is overridden by sc24 so we have as of now three sessions only one is of sc11 
one is of SC38 and SC37 is now overridden by SE24. Suppose I do not want SC24. I want to open, suppose I will go for one more transaction code. Suppose I want to open SM30. So what I will do, I will put slash N SM30. So now there is no SC24 session. So we have SM30, we have SC11 and we have SC38. So if you want to open a session into a new window, please put slash O transaction code. If you want to override an existing session, if you do not want a session and you want to override the session and you want to open a new session on top of that, then you have to put slash N transaction code. Now, now suppose as of now, three sessions opened. One is of SC11, one is of SC38, and one is of SM30. Suppose I want to check the overview of all the sessions. As of now, the overview of the sessions which are open. So I'll simply put slash O. So whenever you will put only slash O, you only have to put slash O. So slash O will give you the overview of all the sessions open. So as of now, I had three sessions open, one of a BAP dictionary, one of a BAP editor, and one of, I'll say maintenance, that is SM30, SC11, SC38, and SM30. Now, now suppose I want to cancel a particular session. Suppose I want to cancel a particular session. So what I can do, I can simply put slash n. Whenever I will put slash n and you can see I moved on to the first SAP easy access screen. So whenever you will put slash n, that particular session will cancel and you will jump onto SAP easy access screen. Now, now the question comes, you are opening sessions. So there should be some limit of opening a session. So a user can open a maximum of six sessions. Six means Suppose you can only open six windows at a time. A user can open six sessions at a time. Suppose you are opening a session of SC11, SC38, SC37, SC24, SM30. Suppose you are going for SC30 also. So you cannot open more than six sessions, yes sir. So six is the limit of the session a user can open a maximum of six sessions. Now, suppose if I want to log out from SAP completely, I want to close all the sessions in single instance of time. So we have that transaction code slash NEX. Whenever I will put slash NEX and press enter, and you can see all sessions closed. There is no open session of SAP. Now, if I want to log in into SAP or if I want to work, I will again log in into SAP. I'll pass the username and password, and then I can start working into SAP. Now I will just show the theory to you, which I covered in this particular video. We covered what is a BAP workbench. We covered what is transaction code. We covered the various meanings of that transaction code. If you are putting slash n xx axis is transaction code. So in this case, what will happen? This particular XX access 
transaction code will call, but it will override the existing session. If you are putting slash or transaction code, it will call the transaction code in a new session. If you are putting slash NEX, it will close all the sessions. If you are putting slash N, you are canceling a particular session. If you are putting slash O only, it will give you the overview of all the sessions. And a user can open a maximum of six sessions. So that's it in this particular video. In the next video, we will start with the real implementation and we will learn or we will start with SC11 transaction code that is for a BAP dictionary or data dictionary. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you.